But, but... Hey, do you really want to be treated like a failed art project by Gaster for the rest of your life? No. So, Zoe, what do you think of my idea? <laughs> okay, Cinny, huh? I've made my decision. I'm in. And that's why I decided to borrow this journal to write down the progress of our own experiment. I hope you don't mind, Gaster. After all, it's for science. Ah, this explains the sudden change in narrative and font. We started with a brainstorming session. Okay. According to Gaster's note in his journal, this mutagen basically violently forces the soul into a very specific form. Well, that was a really horrible experience, so let's not do that. So, what are your ideas? Hmm. Maybe it'd work better if the change happened slowly and gently. The most important thing is that the soul feels safe so that it doesn't fight against it. Oh, how about a warm and fuzzy experience? Like you're starting to fall asleep. Sounds great so far. Any other ideas? What if we somehow make the soul believe that it always was human? I just don't know how. How about magic induced hypnosis? Oh, this could work! And because I am an expert in the field of magic and Zoe is an expert in the field of souls, this shouldn't be a problem for us. Magic induced hypnosis. Got it. Okay. What do we have so far? Gentle and slow change. Warm and fuzzy experience. Magic-induced hypnosis to make the soul believe it always was human. But what about the biggest question? I mean, what does a human even look like? The monster soul still needs a mental image, after all. Good point, Cinny. But we should avoid using an image that is too specific. A general idea with less rules might work better since monster souls love to be creative. Reed, you're an expert regarding humans, right? Oh, uh, yeah. But I know a kid who collects all those human picture books and has way more and even better ones than I do. I could ask them for reference material. Oh, this is a wonderful idea! After we had discussed everything, it was time for the preparations. Hello, I'm back and I brought my research material. Great! Uh, Reed? Why is there a child behind your back? Oh, uh, that's the kid I told you about. I bug me a couple of go watch our experiment. Science is awesome! Uh, Reed, our lab isn't exactly a good place for a child. Hey, don't be a meanie. I may be a child, but I'm very responsible. I won't break anything. I promise. I'm terribly sorry, kid, but you could get hurt or worse. Please, go home. <sighs> Please, please. <laughs> That's too cute. Ah, okay. You've won. You may stay. Yay! You're the best. Just, just please don't touch anything and don't disturb our work, okay? Okay. I really hope I don't regret this. Well, we could couple of the worst the gossip, all right? <sighs> Good point. We only had a few little setbacks at the beginning. Are you serious? You can't have a kid running around in our lab. You two are way too soft. We're, We're really, really sorry, sorry Cindy. Sadly. Wow, this place is so cool. Oh my gosh, we can eat everything. We gonna jump on that. What's that thing? It's dangerous. Looks like I have to take care of this. Whee! <laughs> hey, kid, stay here. It's time to go home now. Uh. Oh, what? Pretty please. Don't be a meanie. Uh. <laughs> Too cute. Adorable eyes. Uh, the child may stay. <laughs> Yay, thanks. Creepy. Agreed. The provided reference material proved to be exactly what we needed. My colleagues and I learned many things about humans we didn't know before. And one thing was for sure. Huh? You, Professor Gaster, have absolutely no idea what an actual human looks like. But this means that I need to, um, put this work? Decisions, decisions. Hopefully it won't lead to another explosion. I should avoid the... Wait a minute. Where did I put my journal? Hmm. Eh, whatever. I don't have time for searching. I'll simply memorize everything instead. Finally, 
It was time to put our research into practice. <laughs> there it is. Our own mutagen. Now all I need is a volunteer to test it. Definitely not me. I already got transformed before and I hated it. Hey, I can't do it either. I need to be able to keep an eye on the mutagen's magic during the transformation. <laughs> me neither. I, uh, highly doubt that my soul would respond well to it. I want to do it! Uh-huh. Give it to me! I want to be a human! What? No! We can't give you the mutagen. What if something bad happens to you? Your parents would kill us! <laughs> I don't care. Give it! I said no! This mutagen is way too dangerous for you! Just give it to me, pretty please. Uh, <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> hey, that's mine! Give it back! <laughs> no! No! Here, take it. Yay! Hi! That's enough! I'm fed up with your antics! It's time for you to go home! Aw, oh, please give it to me. Uh, not this time, you impertinent brat! Uh, get it! Huh? <laughs> Sadly, even someone like me isn't immune to stupidity during a highly stressful situation. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I hate the red candy! Huh? I'll be a powerful human! <laughs> Fear my wrath, Dad! No more spinach for me! Hey! Wait! Reed! Zoe! We have to stop them! <sighs> Oh. The kid swallowed the mutagen! We have to catch them before the transformation starts to happen! Uh, what? <laughs> oh, now it's getting interesting. Science? Huh? Please play with us! Please, we are so bored! Huh? Sans? Where? Alright, alright. Looks like I should throw you guys a bone, huh? Catch! Ah, the lovely sight of happy customers. Oh, hello there. Huh? Um, you really shouldn't absorb that. That's hot sauce. Well, this dog is letting off a lot of steam. Is everything cool now? Sans? What the heck are you doing? I'm dealing with hot stuff. Want some? What? No! Unlike you, I've been extremely productive. I've created the perfect trap for catching humans. Ta-da! Here it is! What? Hey! No, stop eating my trap! Bad dog! Perhaps this ferocious... Popsicle had a rough time. It's possible that he's wolfing ah, down your possessions <laughs> to find the perfect cure for his upset stomach. Hey, stop running away! Maybe you should pause and think about it. Or is this too far fetched? Not funny! But I can see you're smiling. I am not! Excuse me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, you're speaking with the Great Papyrus. Howdy, it is I, Undyne, the strongest and fiercest leader of the Royal Guard. Yeah! Hi, Undyne, do you need another daily report? What? No, your last one was wonderful. Just as wonderful as you are. Aw, th thank you, Undyne. You're wonderful, too. Wonderful and really, really cool. <laughs>